Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Monday the 6th, and today was another absolutely gorgeous day outside. A little warm, but not too bad, um, the first good chunk of the day anyway, and then we got some rain came down, didn't mount to much, and then it quit, and then it rained, and then it quit, and it rained, and back and forth, and a couple times it rained pretty good, but we were much better off than some of the areas down in Missouri, it was getting a lot more rain, and they had a tornado, I think sighted as well I've heard so far I don't know if it did any damage down in Liberty Missouri um, sent a lot of people in looking for shelter and in for safety and that kind of thing so that was definitely something you just don't realize that how close you are to something and still be so far away considering the fact that it did not affect us really here at all so it's one of those things I mean that's two and a half three hour drive kind of deal so it's one of those things that's really kind of a I don't know real close to home but a million miles away at the same time so Went ahead, um, got up today, got a few things done. I was thinking about running up to a tum with my aunt. Um, she had to go up for a doctor's appointment, and then I just totally spaced off. I f forgot to um, basically get up in time to get a hold of her to um, see if she wanted company or not. So went ahead. Um, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought she was taking off later. I heard she was taking off before a blank time. Didn't say, like, actually at this exact time. So I, I knew she was leaving before 8.30. <clears throat> 8 45 like that thing's what i heard and then they never really gave me time it was well it was before 8 a.m that she'd already left so oh well things happen um i was up in that i just wasn't around and you know actually ready to go yet so oh well it happens um we got a few things around here done nothing real major just kind of let my feet have a little bit of um i guess some time out of like you know just the the things I've been doing and stuff, and the walk and the standing on that's not that great. So I thought I would try something different today and see how the feet are going to hold up. And I decided to go for a bike ride. So I've been wearing um, the Huracas. Um, they're like just a rubber flap shoe with this like shoestring around them to hold them on like a sandal. Um, super awesome for the fact there's no pressure on my feet. There's no sliding my toes into a shoe and that kind of stuff. So it's working out really good. Um, borrowed them from my buddy. So he was super nice about offering them to me. Um, definitely it was excited about that. Went ahead from there, um, took the bike out for a while, was planning on being out a lot longer than I was, but I got rained on. So I actually caught it, brought it back in a little sooner than normal. Um, getting rained on the bike is not a big deal, but I didn't have any of my lights on the bike to put on it for safety reasons. I probably could have stuck to sidewalks and whatnot and that, but I thought, Hey, I'm just going to go ahead and call it a day because the fact that the roads felt extra like slippery because we haven't had... I don't know if it was to that or it was the Haraka's one of the two. I tried to put a foot down. It was like super slick feeling and stuff. So I don't know if it was the oils and the roads and stuff up there. Cause we haven't had rain for a few days or if it was just the fact that it was those stupid sandal things that were kind of bugging me a little bit. But they also did not have much padding on the bottom for pedaling. And the pedals obviously are real spiky and stuff for getting traction in your shoes. And that's awesome except when you're wearing basically a, I don't know, 64th inch thick rubber um, mat on the bottom of your foot just kind of give them the bottom of my feet which is not a problem it's the toes i'm after and i was looking for, to keep my legs moving get a little bit something different get some fresh air do something just kind of you know get out of the damn house mostly well it didn't include walking so and i do ride a recumbent bike so my feet work basically elevated which helps quite a bit um did pretty good on the bike like i said i haven't been doing much since the 25th um but i'm still I don't know. I guess it, it's all still there, I guess, in my thought. I'm going to be riding the bike more until I can get up to the point of actually running again. That's going to be my big goal. So I'm definitely excited about all that. Um, went ahead and, um, like I said, rode around quite a bit. Went up to different places around town and that. Got back home and felt good. I didn't feel like I was winded. I'm not a fan of riding the bike per se. I've just never really had dug that. But I also never used to dig running either and that idea of running. So I did become... Um, where I enjoyed running, so maybe I'll get to where I can enjoy biking too. So it's just getting that mindset on changing things up. I also did order some um, woodworking tools, um, some equipment, whatever you want to call it, I guess. Got that stuff ordered out. Um, ended up finding a supplier for in one of the things I was looking for forever, and it total fluke. I, I would have ordered it through a company I was trying to get it through, and it was one of those things where they just didn't have a stock, and they were like, I think $16 cheaper, the one I was trying to go to. And I was just like, they talk like it'd be like two months, maybe three months. And then one of them even said four months guaranteed, you know, nothing. But they said probably four months out. So I talked to people at different stores trying to get it. And I was like, screw that. I don't feel like waiting four months. That's ridiculous. So 
went ahead and said to hell with it. Um, started just looking online, started to find different companies, found an online supplier of it. And not only was it, um, it was $16 more expensive, which I understand, but this place had free shipping, which saved me 60 bucks. Um, that is a giant deal. It also, on top of that, was out of state, so it got, cost me, or saved me my um, 7% sales tax, which is also another awesome thing, or at least 6%, I think it would have been a city tax in there, but at least 6% sales tax on top of that. And then it had a discount coupon that I found online also, which ended up saving me 80 bucks. So it ended up saving me, even though it cost $16 more, the actual price of the product, you knock off the um, $60 savings in shipping, the tax on it, which would have been a good chunk, depending on where it would have came out of. And then you add on the $78, I think it was like that, in, in savings. Hell of a deal. Absolutely stunning how good our deal. I was super excited about it. And with that extra savings, I decided to go ahead and order um, some other stuff to kind of basically get free items instead of getting the discount. So either way, it works out. Um, Definitely not the funnest thing. Um, got that done. Ordered a bunch of stuff off Amazon also, which I've been needing to order for a while. Just kept kind of putting it off. Um, just said to hell with it. Got that ordered up. Um, like flea and tick medication for my dog and just stuff like that. I ended up ordering some seeds that are like mosquito repellent um, plants um, type stuff. I got some other different like plants and stuff to grow or seeds to grow in. Hopefully they'll germinate. Who knows? They talk like it's kind of a pain in the butt to get some of these to germinate in this climate here. So we'll have to see what actually works or not. But might try starting them out in like some pots or something like little raised bed type things. So I can just kind of scrape the top layer off, move it over to where I want it to go to kind of add some extra dirt. So where I'm wanting to put it is really a um clay or looking stuff. So I need to kind of do something there anyway. So We'll see what happens, I guess, on that one. Um, if I can get them to germinate, I think I might take some up and give some to my buddy also because they got mosquitoes pretty bad up there as well. So drop some of those off at his place. Hopefully get them to germinate. I'm going to try and see if I can't convince him just plant them right around like his tomato plants and stuff that I got him a while back and see if that won't help. Um, just kind of fill in some ground coverage. Keep the weeds down there. They don't have to worry about you know pulling weeds all the time out of there. And on top of that, it'll be good for the whole process because it's right there by the edge of the driveway where they put the tomatoes in. And I suggest that to them. So hopefully that'll put some um, mosquito repellent right there. And we're going to sit out there and smoke cigars off and on. Don't worry about the mosquitoes that way. So um, got back home. Like I said, got the whole caught in the rain thing sucked i was really kind of looking forward to the whole riding a little far than that but in a way i'm kind of glad i wasn't out there that long because maybe my legs didn't need to be spinning around that much that long so hopefully if everything goes well planned tomorrow i'm gonna go out and ride again um that's my big thing gotta take the dog out and get him i'm gonna try maybe put him like somehow i'm gonna look at took it a leash onto the bike and maybe take the dog for a run slash bike ride and see what happens there if I can get that actually accomplished. If I do think it's going to work, I'll probably basically throw the bike and him in the van or the truck, one of the two, head out somewhere and then try it there instead of trying it on the streets and stuff in case he pulls me over. I won't get hit by cars and stuff as easily. So I don't know how it's going to go. It's really kind of nerve wracking, but we'll see. Um, I've got so many ideas. I thought like hanging like a, like a ski rope, like we'd, um, basically barefoot ski like the pole kind of side your boat and doing that route i thought i'd just throw my um, roamer leash on around my waist and see if he can just run next to me or whatever i don't know what's going to happen so i'll hopefully get it figured out um the other thing is i thought about just going for a bit of a walk and then there's like a three and a half mile loop without going for that walk and just taking him with me off leash and letting him roam around and have a good time so we'll see um don't really know exactly where i'm at on that one so anyway that's all i got for now i will talk to you guys tomorrow have yourself a safe and wonderful day Thanks for watching.